Now then, let's see if we can get through two exercises in one video. On exercise 14, we want to find the exact value of sine 195 plus the sine of 105. Now we could probably do that now that we know uh, a couple of more angles off of the unit circle. But what we're going to do is just use the sum to product formula. So for sine, sine of 195 plus the sine of 105, that should be equal to 2 times the sine of the average of those two. So, whoops, 195 plus 105 divided by 2, that in parentheses, times the cosine of the difference divided by 2. So, 195 minus 105 divided by 2. And now let's simplify here. So still 2. Still the sign. 195 plus 105. That is 300. That we're divided by 2. That's 150. Times the cosine. 195 minus 105. That's about 90. 90 divided by 2 is... 45. So let's draw ourselves a unit circle. Help remember what the sine of 105 or 150 is. That's this one right here. I don't know what happened to that triangle there. Um, yeah, so it's 1 half. So this equals 2 times 1 half. And the cosine of 45, those are easy. Root 2 over 2. 2 and half cancel, so I just get root 2 over 2. And I'm done. Next, exercise 15. Express cosine 3x minus cosine 4x as the product of two trig functions. It's as if we're going to factor this. And ordinarily, it wouldn't seem like we could. So, cosine 3x minus cosine of 4x. Now, let me just backtrack just a bit. Go back to the formula because this one's kind of weird. Cosines, uh, whenever we're taking the difference of the sum of the cosines, it's either going to be the product of all cosines or the product of all sines. When it's the difference, as you may remember, oh, one slide too many. As you may remember, for the cosines, it is negative 2 times the sine of average of them times the sine of the difference divided by 2. Okay. Here we go. So this should be equal to 2 times, whoops, negative 2 times the sine of 3x plus 4x over 2 times the sine of 3x minus 4x over 2. So now I'll simplify. Minus 2. Is this bothering you? Here, let me get rid of it for you. Sine of, that's 7x divided by 2. 7x over 2. And then sine of, that would be negative x over 2. Negative x over 2. And maybe I could leave it like that, but uh, I don't like this negative sign in here. So you may remember this parity identity like this. That the sign of negative x is equal to negative sine of x. So I'm just going to apply that to this portion. This is equal to negative 2 sine of 7x divided by 2 times the negative sine of x over 2 parentheses, parentheses. So now I'll just take this negative, multiply times this negative, and get a positive 2 sine of 7x over 2 times the sine of x over 2. And I'm done. Now I could apply half angle formulas, but if I do, that's going to put some uh, square roots in there and that's going to get ugly. So I'm going to stop right there.